Hey everybody, it's Maddie, and today I'm going to be sharing with you all how to download books from the internet and then share them to your Kindle devices. I'm currently using a Kindle Paperwhite. I believe it's the newest generation as of 2017. This tutorial should work for most other Kindle devices though. So the program that I'll be using in this video is a program called Calibre. I'll be linking it down below in the description for you guys to download. And it's going to be the easiest way for you to download books and then convert them into the file format that Kindles need. So now on to the video. The first thing you're going to want to do is to download your books from the internet. I personally use Project Gutenberg, which is gutenberg.org if you want the web address. It's a great, easy, and free way to download books. Next, once I got to the website, I started looking up a book that I wanted to download and put onto my Kindle. I just chose The Scarlet Letter because I knew it was a book that was already on Project Gutenberg. When you click on the book that you want to download, you'll be given a list of different file formats that you can download it in. While the Kindle requires the Mobi format, for the purposes of this video, I downloaded an EPUB instead of a Mobi in order to show you all how to actually convert the file formats if you need to. Next, you're going to want to actually download the file itself. On a side note, most books that you download from the internet will already have a cover in place on them. You'll also have the option later using Calibre to add in a cover photo if you need to. So the next step is to open up Calibre on your computer. Once you open up Calibre, it might ask you if you want to update it. You can if you want, I just didn't because I wanted to get this video out of the way first. So the first step to changing the file format of your book itself to put it on a Kindle is to go over to the left top corner and click Add a Books. Then you can choose the book that you just downloaded from the file on your computer or you can just click and drag it into the box itself. Once the book has uploaded into Calibre, you can go up to the top bar again and click Convert Books while having your book selected. Now this page here is one where you can make a ton of different edits to your book if you want to before you convert it. When you're ready to convert, you can look to the top right corner and click the Output Format. If you're using a different device that doesn't require a Mobi format, you can change it here as well. However, for a Kindle, you're going to want to click the Mobi Format. After you've selected Mobi, you can go down to the bottom right corner and click OK. Once you do this, you'll see a spinning circle in the bottom right hand corner with a jobs and then a number, depending on how many books you're trying to convert. Once the jobs number goes down to zero, then you're ready to transfer it to your Kindle. So the next step is to plug in your Kindle device into your computer. Once you've done this, you'll have to wait a few moments until your computer registers that you've plugged in your device. Then the top bar of Calibre should change and a new option on there should be send to device. Now you're going to select whichever books you want to put on your device, go to the top bar and click send to device. Once your book has a green check mark next to its name, it's ready to be opened on your Kindle. Make sure to eject your Kindle from your computer first or else you won't be able to open it. You can see here on my home screen that it takes a few moments for the Kindle to register that it has new books downloaded onto it. Now you can select your book and start reading. And that's it, you're done. If this video was helpful for you all, please make sure to let me know by liking the video, commenting down below, and subscribing to my channel for more content. Thanks everybody! Hey all, it's Maddie, and today I wanted to share with you guys my top tips for selling your clothes on Poshmark.